Hi, this is Shannon from www.prepschool.com and today I have a video I never thought I would make which is about how I do my hair. If you stay tuned, you will hear all the details about how I get my hair looking like this even in the Orlando humidity. So on my trips now, I have been really surprised that about half of the Instagram direct messages I get are about my hair. Because every time I post a picture, people say, how does your hair look like that in Orlando weather? So I never thought I'd be making a video about how to do my hair, but enough people have asked that I thought I would put it all together here so that you too can have hair that's not frizzy on your Disney World trips because Lord knows I have lots of frizz. I decided I needed to research the best and easiest way to make my hair look decent in humid climates. So this is how I do my hair at home, but it was inspired by making sure my hair looks good during my trips because I'm in a lot of pictures and um, it's embarrassing if it is frizzy and looks like I've just been electrocuted. So I wanted to go through the products I use today and show you step by step how I do it. So let's start with this product, which is Potion 9. I feel like a real beauty YouTuber holding it up like this. Um, this is Potion 9 from Sebastian and it is called a styling treatment. And um, what I do is I take just like two or three pumps of this and just lather it all over my hair. By the way, I will be linking to all these products in the description so you can get them. I get everything on Amazon so you can go and snatch them there too. So I just put it all over my hair and you don't want to Brush your hair when you get out of the shower. So literally you get out of the shower, your hair is wet, and that's the first product that you put on. Okay, so the Potion 9 is on. The second step is actually two products. They're both Aveda. One is B Curly Conditioner, and the other is my Holy Grail product, which is Confixer. Now the trick with these is that you want to combine them in your hand and make like a, an Aveda soup. And the reason is that individually they can kind of not behave well. For me, the curl enhancer gets a little too heavy by itself and the confixer can flake and make your hair look like you have dandruff. So the best solution is to squirt some in your hand. Start with the curl enhancer, put that here, and then add the confixer. And then just kind of mix those together and lather them just like the Potion 9. You lather them all over your head. These products all average about $20 each, so they're not cheap, but if you want something that's simple and works well, then this will do the trick. Okay, so now I've got all three of those products on. The next step is going to be to blow dry on low. I have a diffuser dryer here, and I'm gonna blow dry on low for probably three or four minutes. Your times may vary depending on the thickness and length of your hair. But the goal is to get the hair about 80% dry after the three or four minutes. So I'm gonna do that now, crunch it as I go and get it mostly dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Once the blow drying on low is done, then what I do is I kick it up on high for about a minute or so. And the reason I do that is to add volume. I really want volume on my hair. If you don't, then you can skip that step and don't infuse the volume on high. But I'm gonna do that for about a minute and then if it's still too wet, then I will kick it back down on low and finish it out. And then we'll be, be back for the last step. Now the blow giant is complete. The last step, the fourth product in this process, is a product called Techni Art Wild Stylers Next Day Hair, and it is a dry finishing spray to hold disheveled, tousled looks. And so it's sort of um, the magic in this whole thing because it really allows you to sculpt your hair into the shape that you want. 
and you can use this the next day. I only, if I'm not super sweaty, like at home, I only have to wash my hair two or three times a week. So in between, I will often just use this hairspray to kind of get the shape going. So I'm gonna do that right now. And you just spray it, crunch it, and do that until you have the shape that you want. And that is it. Your hair will hold all day. When I go into the parks, I do not take makeup or hair products. So this is it. It will hold all day. One other product I want to let you know about for in-between washes, if your hair loses some of the curl or the wave, I use this Kenra Curl Refresher, which is great to spray on your hair, and then I'll put some of the next day hair spray on it. Those two kind of refresh the curls to make them look good again. So that is it for this hair routine. I hope that was helpful. All of the products I mentioned in this are linked in the description so you can get them for yourself. And uh, thanks for joining.